hello capricorn welcome to your bonus love reading this is going to be for capricorn sun moon rising and venus signs please do note that this is a general message so take what resonates leave behind what doesn't feel free to check your moon rising venus signs for you or your divine counterpart if you are unsure or unaware of what your other planetary placements are there is a link in my description box to a free natal calculator that can help you suss out that information all right my beautiful capricorns let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on we're going to start with some romance angels spirit guides angels ancestors what's going on with capricorn sun moon rising and venus when it comes to love and romantic relationships what does capricorn most need to know at this time please show me clearly precisely accurately best messages advice and guidance coming through for capricorn collective thank you all right, Capricorn, we have three messages coming out. We've got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I believe a lot of you are in the initial getting to know each other stage. If you are already in a connection, this could be you guys taking it to the next level, really getting to know each other on a soul level. Beautiful. We do have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I get the energy that some of you may be declaring your love for each other here soon, or maybe that's a conversation that you're tempted to have. Some of you, this could be that you need to open up and discuss some things and issues that have been bothering you that you may have been avoiding discussing, afraid that it may you know, cause turbulence or cause issues. And then we have chemistry. There's a strong ma magnetic attraction here. So definitely a lot of chemistry between the two of you. Yes, so we've got attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and take a look at your tarot spread and see what's going on. <clears throat> Spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the light. Let's take a look at Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus please, in the area of love and romance. What does the Capricorn Collective most need to know at this time? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. <clears throat> Looking at Capricorn past, present, future energy. Past, present, future energy of Capricorn's person and the shared energy between them. What does Capricorn most need to know at this time? Please show me clearly, precisely, and accurately. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Capricorn, let's take a look. In the past, you're coming through with the Magician. Currently, you have the Four of Cups. Future Energy, we have the Three of Swords. Your person's coming through with the Hanged Man in the past. Currently, the Three of Wands. Future Energy, the Ace of Wands. Current Energy in the, or Shared Energy in the past was the Two of Cups. The Page of Swords is the current Shared Energy. And Future Energy is the Ace of Swords. Overall energy here is the Hermit, and the hidden energy is Temperance, with the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. All right, beautiful Capricorn, let's go ahead and run through the energies on the table, and then we will get into some clarifiers to take a little bit deeper dive. All right, so in the past, you're coming through with the Magician, Capricorn, and so this tells me that you had all the tools necessary to manifest uh, into reality what you wanted. And for all of you, that's going to look a little bit different. But the energy that I'm most picking up on here is you had the ability to create the reality that you so deemed necessary. So I feel like you guys really did pour a lot of effort into the situation. We do have your person coming through here with the hanged man. So this tells me that there wasn't a whole lot of action being taken place on, on their side. Now, this could be for multiple of reasons, and we are going to get clarifier on that to see, you know, what was an action here. But this person was waiting for a sign, a signal, maybe from you. The energy between you, however, was the Two of Cups. So I am picking up on that both of you wanted a connection, wanted to solidify this bond between you. Um, if this was, you know, before you got together, because that is very possible. We're on different timelines. This could be you manifesting a relationship and this person wanting a relationship but not taking action on a connection. All right, so 
Here you're showing up in the currently in the Four of Cups Capricorn. This tells me that there is a little bit of, you know, sadness here I'm picking up on. It's kind of taking a look. I feel like, you know, with the Hermit as the overall energy, uh, Capricorn, you may be in this moment kind of introspection, uh, spending some time really accessing the situation. But there is a sense of discontentment. Your person is in the Three of Wands. So there is on both sides this energy of waiting. And I feel like for some of you, the energy between you is the Page of Swords. So for some of you that have not yet come together, I feel like this is an energy of both of you keeping an eye on each other from a distance, trying to gather information and facts, not feeling very happy. They're waiting. For, I still feel like this person is waiting on someone to make a move, whether that's you Capricorn or you know they're waiting for the right moment to make a move but this person seems to be waiting on something here and you're sitting there discontented not seeing the opportunity that's being presented um, it's you know needing to look at it from a different perspective the page of swords indicates that there's communication that wants to take place here and that both of you may again be keeping an eye on each other so the three of swords is coming in as future energy for you Capricorn and I don't want to speak too much on this until we get a clarifier, but the, you know, this all, you know, speaks of heartbreak and pain. And usually when I get this card in a love reading, it generally actually means it's a, kind of like a turning around point coming out of that, that I would do, especially when I'm seeing the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands as the other two cards in this scenario. The Ace of Swords is a truthful new beginning, a truthful new start with clarity. And this person has the Ace of Wands ready to take a passionate new beginning. Overall energy here is temperance, so this is definitely divine guidance, inner guidance system, as well as, you know, coming into balance and a deep sense of healing. The Six of Wands is at the at bottom of the deck, tells me that there's going to be some forward momentum and a sense of victory here. So let's get a clarifier on a couple of these cards and just see what is going on here for Capricorn. All right, Spirit, Guides, Angels, Ancestors, let's take a look at Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The area of love and romance. Please clarify the cards on the table for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. Let's start with this magician. Why is the magician here for Capricorn and the past position? Now, Capricorn, when I say past, you understand that that can be anywhere from yesterday to last week to last month to 50 years ago. We're all on different timelines here. So take it as it resonates for your situation, please. All right. So we have the world, the nine of cups, the queen of swords with the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, all right. So Capricorn here, what I'm picking up on is some of you may have been at a distance from your person or there was a physical distance, a, you know, emotional, physical distance for others of you. You are manifesting a wish, a desire to end something, to see things clearly and to speak a honest truth, to operate in integrity. And you're willing to put in a lot of effort and energy into it um, to create the, the reality that you wanted with your divine counterpart. So for some of you, again, this, you know, that energy of the magician is about creating the reality that you wanted. And I do feel like a lot of you were actively putting in the effort to do that. All right, so what is this hanged man for Capricorn's person? In the distant past, please, or in the past position. Why is the hanged man here for Capricorn's counterpart? The star. We have two cards of wish fulfillment. We have the lovers, the star, and the eight of wands. So your person over here wasn't taking any action, wasn't moving forward when it comes to love, but it was their deepest desire, their deepest wish here. They were, I'm getting, oh wow. So they were stuck in this energy of the five of pentacles, five of cups. So there's a, there's a deep loss, lots of regret looking, looking at the past. So I'm getting it. Well, here's what I'm getting, Capricorn, and I've got to say this is very peculiar. So I'm getting an energy of a situation here 
where somebody legitimately you you know, take it whichever side this is for you there is somebody here that was trying to manifest you know their wish fulfillment doing whatever it took to move things along with honesty and integrity they wanted to create and cultivate the life that they so desired their reality the reality that they wanted was this this connection a soulmate you know twin flame love me until i die kind of energy and over here we had the same wish and desire but there was no action being moved forward i do even feel like there was a breakdown in communication because somebody was stuck in the hurt and the pain and the regrets of a past situation so i don't think anyone took any action towards this two of cups two of cups here a shared energy between capricorn and their person please Ace of Wands. Yeah, there is an opportunity for passion, for connection, for love here between the both of you. But what I'm seeing is this a desire for it, but no actual physical action being taken towards it. Yeah, look, look. Both wounded and very guarded. All right, let's see Capricorn concurrent energy, please, in the Four of Cups. Mm, immediately came out with the Two of Swords at a crossroads. Needing to make a decision, unsure, un un unknown. Yeah, seven of wands, very defensive. Walls are up. There's there's challenges. Blockages, maybe, for some of you. On moving things forward. Let's see Capricorn's person in the three of wands, please. Why is the three of wands here for Capricorn's son? person we got the queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy all right and the five of swords at the bottom of the deck so i feel like this person again is patiently waiting there is love here they're looking at their cup and they they they, they do feel love or feel a connection but the five of swords here so this tells me that they're they're definitely going through inner conflict they may have dealt with narcissists or people in the past that were just very just dishonest untrustworthy who may have played a lot of games with them they're secure in their the in their current energy of the of the nine of pentacles this is you know being single and standing in their own power they feel secure they feel upright they're definitely feeling wounded from past past situations so again i feel like we're still in this energy of somebody who wants to be you know i feel like both of you still want to move this relationship forward i feel like there is a strong connection between the two of you there is a lot of you know chemistry a lot of passion uh you know i feel like i feel like i think you both feel it with each other but again i feel like you guys are just you know keeping an eye on each other if you're communicating at all, I feel like it's very lighthearted, um, very friendly in nature, but nothing major, nothing serious. What is this page of swords? Shared energy between Capricorn and their person, please. Current energy. Why is the page of swords here? Thank you. Yeah, judgment. Both of you. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So both of you are sitting in judgment right now. Both of you know you need to make a decision to make a choice to either move this forward, to communicate, to enter into a steady commitment, to offer commitment, or take a time out and step away. And I feel like both of you are struggling. I feel like this person's biggest issue is they need to let go of the past in order to be able to move forward. And I feel like you're guarded and you're unsure because you're not, I don't think, I feel that I, I kept want to feel like a lot of you are aware of this person's hesitation. So I feel like some of you also are very guarded because you don't want to put yourself out there and be hurt. So let's see this three of swords moving into the future energy. Why is the three of swords here for my Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. Yeah, see, and that's why I always tell people to wait. <laughs> until clarifiers come so there's an end of heartbreak and pain coming 
this heartbreak and pain that you're feeling is going to be transformed, transmuted. Unconditional love. Yep, you're moving on from heartbreak and pain. You're moving on from troubled times, hard times, into more calmer waters. So the situation is definitely going to be improving. Look, King of Cups, Three of Cups. So there's definitely love. Um, there's definitely good news and celebration and joy ahead. All right, let's see your person with the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Yeah. There we go. See, that's what we are waiting on. After a period of major contemplation, I see that your person's going to take some of their inter uh, guidance and they're going to come forward and they're going to offer something new, something passionate and begin it here with you. And I think that's going to be what turns this around. I see the six of wands. So I see forward movement. I see a sense of victory. Let's see this ace of swords shared energy between Capricorn and their person. Why is it here? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance. Yeah. So truthful communication. Okay. Two of Wands, Five of Cups with the Ace of Swords. So I feel like truthful communications about things that have happened in your past, things that you regret, things that cause you, you know, to feel not so good, not so happy, to feel wounded, protected, you know, even maybe even a little guard it. I feel like you guys are going to be truthfully and honestly communicating, not just your past and where, you know, where those mistakes have lied, um, but also how you currently feel towards each other with this King of Cups and the Three of Cups and out oh, and the Ace of Cups now. So I do see a beginning, beginning in love. I see reasons to be joyous and celebrate. The decision has been made here. It's just acting upon it, Capricorn, the both of you. And that would explain why the getting to know you and the heart-to-heart -heart conversation has come up and the romance angels because definitely this is indicating that there's definitely needs to be this uh, level of communication happen between the two of you to really equal things out, to balance things out, and for you guys to really get to know each other in order to be able to move this forward. All right, so I'm going to cover real quick before I go ahead and pull the Zodiac cards. Um, what zodiacs are currently showing up on the table? We have Gemini, we have Aquarius, we have Virgo, we have Scorpio as major contenders here. We got two score or two Virgo here. All right, so at this time we're going to go ahead and pull the energy of the zodiac to see which zodiac signs are showing up most in your energy at this time, or is at close influencing excuse me a influence, <laughs> influencing you the most at this time how it is playing into the situation if the sign of the person that you are connecting with wishing to connect with or have connected with shows up take it as a sign of synchronicity if the person sign does not show up but this reading still resonates with you it's still your reading that being said let's see what's showing up for capricorn sun moon rising and venus please all right, so Capricorn, we got your energy. You may be connecting with another Capricorn. We have Scorpio. We have Leo. We have Virgo. I'm definitely saying some of you guys are connecting with a Virgo. We've got Aquarius. One more, please. We've got Aries with Libra at the bottom of the deck. All right, my beautiful Capricorns, that's all I have for you at this time. Please let me know in the comments down below. If this resonated with you, be sure to smash that like button. And if you have not yet decided to subscribe, we would love for you to join us here at Kassarian House of Tarot. Please remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.